Yes, now we are discussing about horticulture business. In that today we are discussing about apple fruit farming and cultivation. Apple is an important fruit in commercial trading and it takes and it ranks fourth in, in the most widely produced fruits in the world after the banana, orange and grape. Commercial apple farming is hugely profitable, however it demands a substantial initial capital investment. You must have a large area of land for an apple orchard. A 10 acre is a considerable size to have a small size apple farm. How are apples farmed? Never, newer apple orchards are usually planted in V-shaped trellis trellises rather than a traditional spat tree. Growers found that uh, this uh, trellis system made it easier to support the weight of the apple limbs and growing apples. About a month before harvest, reflective material is rolled between the rows of trees. Health benefits of apples. First of all, biting and chewing an apple stimulates the production of saliva in your mouth. Thus, it reduces tooth decay by lowering the levels of bacteria. The consumption of flavonol-rich apples helps to reduce your risk of developing pancreatic cancer by up to 23%. Apples help to reduce your risk of risk for diabetes. Soluble fibers in the apples help to reduce cholesterol. Red apples contain an antioxidant called quercetin. Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-N. Quercetin. The quercetin can help boost your immune system. We can catch a popular statement. One apple a day keeps doctors away. Next point is uh, things to consider in commercial apple farming. Ensure the soil is amenable to apple production. Choosing appropriate varieties for the local climate is crucial. Ensure proper fruit thinning and harvesting techniques. You must adopt proper plant protection system. Ensure a proper irrigation system for your apple farm. And next point is uh, agroclimatic uh, condition for apple farming. In areas with shorter growing seasons, apples that require long growing seasons to ripen are not appropriate. In areas with the shortest season, summer ripening, apples may be the only option. Dry temperature areas are suitable for apple cultivation. Soil requirement for apple farming. Apple cultivation is suitable in the loamy soils which, which with rich in organic matter and pH range of 5.5 to 6.5 soil should not have water logging and soil with good drainage is ideal for apple farming. Next point is planting. You can adopt the square or hexagonal system of planting. Dig the planting hole to two to three times wider than the root system of three of the tree and deep enough to just meet the root collar. You can mix compost into the back fill soil. And next point is irrigation. You must irrigate Young trees every 4 to 10 days based on your soil type and temperatures. Mature trees need deep watering about every 2 weeks during the growing season so that moisture reaches a depth of 2 to 3 feet. This deep irrigation encourages as well establish deep rooted tree. And the next point is manuring. Some varieties of apple trees are also naturally faster growing and may 
and we require to fertilize to maintain acceptable growth and fruit production. Retest the soil every three to four years to determine what nutrients you will need to apply this soil. Weed control. Next point is weed control. Frequent hand pulling and shallow cultivation, no deeper than an inch, controls weeds and minimally disrupts roots. Deeper cultivation disrupts shallow roots and is not recommended for young establishing trees. And next point is where do apples grow best? Apples do grow well in most areas of South America, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand and Europe. Uh, sorry Florida, apple trees will grow there but rarely produce fruit. This is the information regarding apple cultivation. Wishing you all the best.